Hello, YouTubers, and happy 23rd of December. Really getting close to Christmas. Uh, it's tomorrow, guys. Or at least in Denmark. We celebrated on the 24th, and that's also when we open presents and all this stuff. Dance around the Christmas tree, and I'll have you know that we uh, actually have a lot of traditions in Denmark that are stemming from Viking times, which is pretty cool. Actually, if you didn't know already, the whole idea of Christmas, or you, as we say in Danish, kind of stems from Viking times. But uh, from uh, it's, it's, I think it's what you'd call Winter Solvau in Danish, uh, or Midwinter Solstice in English. So, 23rd, guys, this will be interesting. Two beers left. Really hope that the last two ones are going to be really awesome. One of them has to be an Omnipoyo beer, because Carl Grandin did the artwork for this. So I'm, I'm hoping for one, but let's see here. The 23rd of December, which is here. Hope you guys are on Christmas vacation. I have a short one, which is quite nice. Uh, and then it's back to work in between New Year's and Christmas, and then New Year's, and then back to work again in January. But this guy's, okay, this might be the Omnipoyo one. It's just good with desserts. 10 to 12 degrees Celsius, something coffee, something. Let's see what this is. This is, yep. Oh, oh wow. Okay. That is kind of interesting. So this is Omnipoyo and Jay Wakefield brush. So the thing with this beer was, I think the Celestie they did last year was specially made for this box. And this year they did the artwork, or Carl Grandin did the artwork for the box, and then they did another beer for the box, which I guess then is brushed. But I wonder if this is then a different version. It's an imperial stout brewed with vanilla, chocolate, ancho chilies, and coffee, it seems. Cafe nos no Do you know what, guys? I'll be back in a sec. A sec. A sec. And uh, bring the other bottle of brush that I have. So I picked up my brush from Beer Jones. I also want to say thanks to Beer Jones in this uh, review and not just severe beer because I originally got it from Beer Jones. I had no idea it'd be in the box, but I think it's exactly the same beer, even though it says brewed for their friends at severe beer. But maybe I'll open both in this review and we can see if there's any difference at all. I don't know. I think it's exactly the same beer. I mean, if you look at the label, it's just a color change. Uh, it's an imperial stout brewed with vanilla, chocolate, Ancho chili peppers and hazelnut coffee. So I guess uh, it all coffee no noisette means uh, hazelnut coffee. Yeah, it's the same beer. So I'll think I'll just save this one for New Year's then. The regular version, but we'll keep it here in handy so uh, we have it. But okay, brush. This, this I think is going to be a good beer. This is a beer that got very high ratings when the original batch was released over at Jay Wakefield over in the States. So uh, ooh, I did not expect to see this one here. So uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna open one because it's 12%. And I'm sitting on my own. It would be crazy drinking and what's a, a bomber of 12% of beer tonight. <laughs> I'd be pretty drunk. So let's crack open the Saveur beer bottle and check it out. Okay guys, so I'm back with the Saveur beer labels version of Brush. Originally it was brewed as a collab over in the States with Jay Wakefield. Then a European release and now a Severe Beer Christmas calendar release. So I think maybe the one they're going to sell on the shop afterwards at Severe Beer is going to look like this, not look like this. So this is the one you could get most other places. But it's, I just still think it's interesting that it says brewed for our friends at Severe Beer, where like a beer like this and a lot of other beers in the box are not specially made for the calendar, they're just specially labeled. Maybe it's just, or maybe you can justify it by saying this batch of the beer was brewed for Severe Beer. I don't know. But I think this is going to be a good one, guys. It's got a lot of, uh, like the Jay Wakefield collab had a lot of hype. I don't know much about the European one, but pours a sludgy pitch black liquid in the glass. I think we already have the contender or the winner of the best beer of the box without even tasting it yet, because Only Poirier are very good at doing Imperial Stouts. And this is also, I think this is also the first Imperial Stout of the box. Uh, but yeah, pitch black, uh, nice tan, mocha looking head on there. Very nice, actually, lingering head on a 12% Imperial Stout. Let's check out the aroma on brush. Oh, <laughs> that smells really nice. See, this is how I want my fucking Christmas calendar to be like. With beers like this. That puts me in the Christmas mood and that gets me happy. Maybe not Christmas, if you're talking about uh, specific flavors of Christmas, but just that, you know, the feeling of Christmas about just enjoyment and relax relaxation and, and all that. I, you just get that totally from smelling this. It smells awesome. Loads of coffee. 
loads of chocolate, and there's that undertone of hazelnut. I think the hazelnut coffee part is, I don't know if it's like hazelnut flavoring because they use that in other beers, or if it's like sometimes you can actually get coffee that are hazelnut flavors or coffee that's chocolate flavors. It could be that, but it's definitely got big hazelnut and like hazelnut coffee type thing. Also some licorice undertones underneath. Uh, molasses even maybe. Roasted malt. Vanilla. Yeah, the vanilla and chocolate are big on it. Uh, the, the ancho chili, I'm not really getting loads of it. It's nice that I have the, the regular version here on the side so I can actually read <laughs> the stuff it says. It says here something about having barley malt and wheat malt. And here it says something about brewed at the Puff Brewery in Locusty. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's the same, just in French. But it smells nice. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. And thanks for supporting Bia and Beer Jum for the beer. <laughs> Definitely the best beer of the box. <laughs> One hundred percent, the best beer of the box. Ooh, Anchotelli saying hello there. Hmm. Actually, it's too cold for my taste because I've kept this entire freaking box in the fridge for twenty four days almost. Um, it's uh, it's filled up a lot of room, but uh, <laughs> I actually prefer like usually when I drink my stouts in the reviews, I think a lot of people drink them like this. I I don't like them chilled like this. I prefer to drink in like this straight out of the cellar, so they're kind of a little bit warmed. Uh, you get a lot of the flavors, but better and more intensively. Uh, but yeah, big chocolate on this one and big coffee. It's actually almost reminding me a bit of Selassie in the terms of coffee and vanilla flavors. But then it also, also has the edge of, of, uh, of hazelnut and some chili flavor and heat without being too much. I mean, I feel some kind of slight warming chili sensation, but it's not crazy. Super lush, slick mouthfeel. Actually, it almost looks like, I just realized this on the labels, like some organic eggs. They pride themselves on being very orange in color on the yolk. It's almost like non-organic and organic eggs because the labels are fried eggs. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. And actually, often that's just because they feed bell peppers to the chickens. That's where it, or paprika, but in the food, but, mm. Speaking of paprika and peppers, there's the bell pepper flavor, or the uh, ancho chili flavor. It's not too crazy, uh, but it's nice. Actually, it would be fun now that I st still have this, if I could get a hold of the Jay Wakefield brewed version and try and compare the Jay Wakefield with the European version. And then, if any of you guys watching have it, let me know, see if we can hook something up. It'd be fun to try the, the US brewed version and try it side by side with the, the EU. But the EU version here, just with a different label, is really nice. Thick full mouthfeel, nice roasty malty flavors, molasses, big coffee. Coffee is the big player on this one um, with chocolate. And then the hazelnut, the more I drink it, I'm more getting just like coffee, chocolatey flavors. It's almost like you took something like there's a lassie and also did it with uh, with chocolate and a bit of a chili flavor. Or is it with chocolate as well? I can't remember. Wasn't it just coffee and vanilla? That's really nice. It's not my favorite Imperial stuff from Omnipoil. Um, it's really, really damn good though. I'm thinking like 95, which is the highest grade I've given out of any beer in this box. But I hope to have more grades like this for the Severe Beer Beer Christmas and our hops as well. Uh, but most of the beers have just been a bit subpar. But we'll talk a bit more about that tomorrow for the last day in the calendar. And uh, yeah, 95 guys, great stuff. I recommend checking out Brush in the calendar if you had it. Let me know what you thought of it. If you had the uh, European brewed version, let me know what you thought of it just with the regular label. Or if you had the US brewed version, let me know what you thought of it. And uh, yeah guys, stay tuned for tomorrow for the final beer of the calendar. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna say cheers and see you guys tomorrow for the final beer of Severe Beer and Hops Beer Christmas calendar. Cheers.